subscribe my channel okay let's get start the agenda plan for today is get the file from S uh, amazon s3 bucket and convert the, that csv file from csv format to xml format and then send the file to salesforce account okay let's go to application and create the process under day 5 folder click on new component click on create okay i am starting the start shape with no data okay click on okay next i am using the amazon s3 rest connector for getting the file from amazon okay in in video for i already explained how to get the file amazon s3 so right now i am using same connection action is get connection also same amazon uh, s3 rest connection see this is the connection okay i am using same operation because i am using same bucket for getting the file okay amazon s3 connector operation let's see the operation once again see connector action is get object is training 2022 new i am getting the file from this bucket only okay click on save and close okay let's go to amazon s3 bucket see these are the files under bucket name is training 2022 new because i am operating from this bucket only so right now i am getting this file so give exact name to in application under parameters okay click on place select the input as id type is click on okay type is static name same exact name training test.txt file name is training test.txt so now click on okay i am getting the training the training test.txt file from training 2022 new bucket okay and then convert that file from csv format to xml for right that's the purpose i am using map shape let's click on okay before that i am configure configure the salesforce connector okay connector type is salesforce action is get bigger because i am sending the file from amazon s3 to salesforce so now i am creating the connection here proper name to connection salesforce connection username user uh, before giving these details username password all these details we should know how to create login uh, how to create account in salesforce okay if you don't have login account create the salesforce account with trial account from this option okay i already created the account so i am using existing credentials only here this is my salesforce account user id i am copying here username okay password you can log in i am entering the same username here okay username same and password password should be security key place password see this is the security key. i will show you under user click on settings see reset my security token once you click on reset my security token you will get the security token like here this okay security token this is the security token now i am i am entering the my username plus security token okay i am selecting the security token this is my security token 
first enter the password here first enter the password plus security dot the connection okay click on apply here you have to enter the password plus security token in the password place okay username only user click on save okay click on save and close this is very important in in connection okay operation click on operation give proper name to operation okay see import select the connection just now we created the connection right using that connection day five salesforce connection okay click on next logging to salesforce object type we are we are sending the our file to account see this is the account this account type my object type is account i am sending my file to these accounts all accounts see these are the accounts account name billing state phone number type owner owner last name billing city billing country all these states we have here so i am sending my text file with all these details so i will show you the text file as well okay i am getting the this text file right see this is the id name type billing city billing country okay so i am using account object type is account here okay click on next billing object tree file is loading here your profile is creating okay it is loading okay click on next click on finish okay this is request profile just now we create okay save and close we are created sales for connection and operation here action is send because we are sending the file to sales force under account okay click on okay now we have to configure the map shape click on map press button give proper name to map shape map csv to xml okay this is test right test map csv to xml choose the profile type is flat file and profile connection we have to create the profile csv profile test to csv profile okay options under options file delimiter is comma user columns your column headers are you have to select and next import the file here we are importing only metadata not records okay remember this one training test okay click on next button finish see here only metadata only not records character phone number is number okay save and close next just we, we create only csv format next we have to create the xml profile for destination purpose no we already created the xml profile right we use existing one only product xml profile let's see sales for account account create request just now we created right see this one 
this is the one just now we created with save and close okay if you want i show you then that I complete this one we have to map name with name name with name type building city building country shipping city shipping country and phone number okay Click on save phone number. That's it, right? Okay. Click on save and close. Okay. See, just now we created the profile, right? This is the profile Salesforce account create request. So I usually only that profile in map shape. Save and close. Select the stop shape. From Amazon S3 REST connector, I am getting the CSV file. Okay, that file I am converting from CSV format to XML format and then send to Salesforce. Okay, save here under Salesforce under accounts. How many total seven? Now we are sending the test training test. Okay, let's see account name. Account name. What name also will check inside training test name in a gr okay let let's test this process select the atom run test exhibition is started The file is getting from Amazon S3 bucket and convert that CSV file to XML file and then send to Salesforce. Okay. No, here in an embedded error, Salesforce required field missing object. External ID field missing. Okay, close. We'll see. External field missing here. external id okay we have to map the external id here because i already created the external id as well so we have to map the external id in map shape okay okay now it will work because i already created the external id as well so external id is mandatory here name type building city building country and shipping city shipping country down shipping country phone number okay for external id external id is not uh, unique here so i am using the functions category string function string concat because it is unique here so add inputs id and phone 
number or name anything is fine with external ID. Okay. Because external ID is not at all unique, uh, not at all duplicate, right? So that purpose, every time ID, uh, phone number with combination, external ID is generated here. So not at all unique in process. Save and close. Okay. Click on OK. Save. Now again we'll test. Select the atom, run test. Let's see if it will work or not. See, execution executed successfully. Earlier, we didn't map the external ID. We, I already created the external IDs. That's the reason external ID is mandatory. So now it is working. Let's check the Salesforce account. View all accounts. Earlier 7, right now 8. My account with NAGR. See, this is I am sending this training test under training test. Open name ID is this one, name is NAGR and phone number is 9605. Let's check phone number as well. Phone number NAGR 9605. Okay, this uploaded successfully in Salesforce account. So my process is working fine. Okay. Thank you. If you have any doubts, comment. I will reply on that. Okay. Thank you.